is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at 4. We have an active alert day for severe weather across much of southern Wisconsin. Right now, the worst of the storms are in Iowa, but they're moving towards southwestern Wisconsin. The skies over Madison are cloudy right now, and the wind is definitely picking up. But taking a look at our Queen Bee Sky Cam out of Platteville, you can see a different story there. Clouds getting a little cloudier, about the mm -hmm. same. We're waiting for the rain to arrive. Meteorologist Jacob Montesano is tracking the storm, and he has everything you need to know in your alert day first warm forecast. Jacob? Yeah, right now there are a few lighter showers across uh, portions of our area, but our focus is off to the southwest where we are seeing a line of storms that earlier had tornado warnings to them, but those storms have diminished just a little bit. Right now there aren't any warnings, but that could quickly change. Right now, kind of moving north, northeast. Although they're moving pretty quickly, they're really just kind of hugging the Wisconsin border, so we still haven't really seen a lot of thunderstorm activity. Those of you in Prairie du Chien, looks like you folks have the best chance to see heavy rain in the next hour or so. As we look further south, though, there are a few other storms just to the north of Davenport moving right into our area. Could possibly see a severe thunderstorm more with these storms as well. Right now, the strongest storms are even further south and west of that. There's a line of severe thunderstorm warnings extending from Cedar Rapids down to uh, Memphis, Missouri. There actually is a tornado warning with this system. There have been a few tornado warnings across Iowa, Missouri, and parts of Nebraska. Nothing for our area yet. And if we, But if we look at future track, we are expect to see widespread rain across southern Wisconsin. At this moment, the severe weather threat doesn't look to be quite as strong, but that could quickly change. It just takes one storm to fire up that could produce uh, some strong winds, large hail, maybe even an isolated tornado. But at the very least, our entire area is expected to see some pretty heavy rain. So once again, here's the current situation. Not seeing any severe thunderstorm warnings with the system just to the west of Wisconsin, but there are severe thunderstorm warnings further southwest of that. We will continue to break in if we have any severe thunderstorm warnings develop. But right now, expect to see some heavy rain shortly for southwestern Wisconsin a little bit later in the evening for our uh, us here in Dane County. Jacob, thank you. Now we do have a crew live in Dodgeville right now. Our Jalen Banks is there and he's watching as the storm moves in. Hi Jalen, how do things look there this afternoon? Hi Susan and Charlotte, as you mentioned, I am here in downtown Dodgeville. Earlier we arrived around 3 p.m. and within the last hour or so things have really started to pick up. It was relatively quiet when we first got here, but the winds are starting to pick up. We are starting to see a decent amount of rain. Uh, and as far as looking up into the sky, the clouds are traveling at a pretty decent speed. Right now, nothing too bad, but as I mentioned, things are starting to pick up with the precip and the wind. Uh, but for now, reporting in Dodgeville, Jalen Banks, News 3 Now. All right, it's good you're protected from the rain when it moves in. We'll check back with you, Jalen. Thank you. In other news, lawmakers were called back to the Capitol today by the governor to release funds that would be used to mitigate PFAS pollution in Wisconsin. Political reporter Will Keneally is there with that story. Well, if you weren't in the budget hearing room this morning, you didn't miss much. Republicans boycotted the special meeting the governor called, saying it was a political stunt. The legislature's budget writing committee needs to sign off on a spending plan for the PFAS money, which the governor wanted them to do today. So the idea that somehow they have the ability to uh, essentially work as a fourth arm of, a, of a, our, you know, our state is just wrong. Legislative Republicans say they already sent Evers a spending plan for the money. The governor just vetoed that earlier this month. Now that's over an argument on how to treat landowners that have existing PFAS pollution on their property. We'll have more on these negotiations coming up tonight at 6. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. The legislature has largely wrapped up their business for the year and lawmakers are not expected to return until January. Bucky is putting his muscle where his mouth is and it's all to raise money for the university. Today is the day of the Badger and the main event was at Union South called the Bucky Push-Up Challenge for every 10 gifts given during the event. Bucky had to do one push-up. Any gifts of $5 or more could be given to over 150 different initiatives and colleges on the UW-Madison campus. We do raise a lot of critical funding for the university and we also love to celebrate everyone who gets involved, whether that's making a gift at daythebadger.org or sharing on social or just celebrating what it means to be a Badger. Six, 
Seven. He's pretty ripped. <laughs> the event is run by the Wisconsin Foundation and Alumni Association. The full event lasts 1,848 minutes in honor of the year the university was founded. Well, Brood 13, if you don't know what that means, we can't blame you because it's been 17 years since the last time a group of cicadas emerged in southern Wisconsin. How exciting, yeah. right? Well, their next emergence will be around mid-May, and some are worried about the impact they will have. Our Kyle Pazorski shares what you need to know as we brace for the upcoming cicada season. Kyle? Well, you might also hear this variety referred to as the Northern Illinois brood, but it does not mean they will only be seen there. So take a look at this map. The brown counties are where this group will be seen. A swath of in southern Wisconsin is included in that. Again, we have about a month before they are expected to pop up, which gives us time now to prepare. And that's good news because while cicadas are mostly just a nuisance, they can damage trees and shrubs in a very serious way. The older trees, they'll be able to recover. The younger ones, if they were attacked, need to be watered frequently uh, to about an inch of water per week. And you might want to put some mulch around the bottom there. So what can you do about it? Well, like we heard there, some basic mulch goes uh, around young trees can help out. As well, it's recommended to purchase cicada tree netting, and those can be bought pretty inexpensively. We saw some online for about $20 there. And so if you want to protect those young trees, now is the time to get those types of products, as in a month's time, they are expected to jump in price and sell out. Kyle, thank you. And live at 4, we'll be right back after this break. Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes, and as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette. I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you want to do it is you want to have a clean, dry face. You use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Madison's older generations open up. Settle in with Madison Magazine for fond, frank, and funny reflections from local seniors. Then meet a new generation taking action against climate change. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. Madison Magazine presents The City Guide, your ultimate resource for Madison area adventures. With inside tips on where to eat, what to do, and places to see. Available now on area newsstands or online at madisonmagazine.com. 
Here's another live look at the storms approaching in southwestern Wisconsin. This is our sky cam in Platteville. Some cloudy skies, no rain yet in Platteville. The storms are just on the border, mm -hmm. Iowa, uh, Wisconsin border, right, Jacob? Where are they right now? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Just to the west of Wisconsin, it looks like Prairie du Chien might be the first uh, town in our area to experience some heavy rainfall. Now, the National Weather Service is keeping an eye on this line of, of thunderstorms. Could possibly possibly get put out as a severe thunderstorm warning. Maybe uh, gusty winds does seem to be the biggest hazard, but small hail and a quick isolated tornado is definitely possible. Now looking further south, the line of storms kind of continues all the way down south to Davenport, and this is also moving pretty much due north, a little north northeast, but it's, by, it's expected to enter right into our area. So even if we don't see a lot of severe thunderstorms, we are expected to see plenty of rainfall. The strongest storms, though, once again, continue to be to the southwest of that. Now these could also possibly possibly track into our area. Right now there is a tornado warning. Actually looks like there's a couple of tornado warnings on the southern end of this line of thunderstorms. Again, we will continue to update. Uh, tornadoes can form very quickly, so even though there's not a warning, it doesn't mean that there isn't an uh, isolated tornado or it doesn't mean that it can't form. Now there's still a tornado watch in effect for Grant County and areas to the west and south. This is until 8 p.m. And looking at our hazard impacts, we are expecting to see gusty winds as the biggest hazard, followed by some damaging hail tornado and flood risks are concerned but the flooding risk is mostly for those of you kind of near uh, rivers and creeks especially those of you near the rock river where it has already reached flood stages earlier this month so if we take a look at future track hour by hour it's going to continue to push off to the north northeast by around 5 p.m the heaviest rain looks to kind of start to get closer to dane county and spreading across the southwestern portion of our area getting closer to six it's going to continue to push off to the east this is the best chance to see some heavy rain and possibly severe weather across Dane County and areas just to the north and west. Closer to seven, uh, 6 to 7 p.m., it will begin to push off a little bit towards the east, but still impacting Dane County. And as we get closer to 8 p.m., it'll mostly be impacting areas north and east of Dane County. And once we get to this level, we are likely not going to see quite as much severe weather could still possibly see some of that severe weather linger into uh, around 8 to 9 p.m., but we're mostly going to be focused on the heavy rain at this point. Now, looking a bit further, getting closer to 9 p.m., a lot of it will start to clear out of our area, but could see some possible showers and storms linger. But for the most part, it looks like it'll end around 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., maybe lasting until around 10 p.m., with a few showers, possibly an isolated storm, early tomorrow. Now, we've been talking about the possible severe weather, but there is a minor flooding risk. And it's not just, and again, the best, the, the greatest risk for flooding will be for those of you near creeks and rivers, but if we do get persistent rainfall, we could see some uh, localized quick flooding as we could possibly be seeing rainfall up to two inches. And it's not going to be raining for a long period of time, maybe about an hour or two at most, but not like some of those rain systems we have throughout the entire day. So one to two inches over the course of a few hours could definitely uh, create some flooding risk. So just be prepared for that. We also have some gusty winds expected. As Jalen mentioned, the winds are really picking up. Uh, the winds are expected to continue to be up uh, through the thunderstorms, but after the storms, they will begin to die down. So let's take a look at the full forecast uh, a little bit looking beyond today as well. So we've been talking about the storms right now, but here's a look at the seven to 10 day forecast. Temperatures will cool down for the weekend, but it doesn't look like we're going to see much precipitation this weekend. Some showers may linger Wednesday morning, possibly some showers Thursday, but after today, we're not expecting a huge rain system, uh, at least until possibly next week. Still unclear how much rain we'll see uh, for the middle of next week, but we are expecting some rain nonetheless. Not really seeing any 70s in the forecast though, so we are going to be not necessarily cool but closer to average not as nice as, as we were last weekend but still comfortable you know we're getting to the time of year where it's very unlikely that we'll see temperatures dropping into you know the 30s and 20s but we still will see some cool days especially in the near future but we're eventually going to get back to the 70s at some point we could use the rain, but not the severe weather, certainly. So keep us posted, Jacob. Thank you. As the 2024 election inches closer, polls show a significant chunk of voters are unenthusiastic about the rematch between President Biden and former President Trump. Inside this northern Virginia coffee shop, many voters said this year could come down to voting against a candidate instead of in support of one. With less 
than six months to go, CBS News polling shows that independent voters could decide this election. CBS News polling director Anthony Salvanto says most voters still view this election as important. I think it's going to be an interesting but, in, but important question to see how each campaign does at motivating uh, their supporters to turn out because there may be very few persuadable people. The CBS News Elections and Surveys director says in the 2024 presidential campaign so far, over 90 percent of each candidate's 2020 backers say they're sticking with their candidate. Representative Thomas Massey has joined the effort to oust Speaker Mike Johnson. The Republican from Kentucky is co-sponsoring the motion to vacate introduced by Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. With Massey's support, if there's a floor vote on the motion, Johnson will need Democrats to help save his job. Despite the growing threats, Johnson remains defiant, saying he is not resigning. Book banning is on the rise at schools across the U.S. That's according to a new report. 4,300 instances of book bans during the first half of this school year. That's already more than the entire 2023 school year, which had 3,300 book bans. Florida topped the list with 3,100 bans in 11 school districts. It was followed by Wisconsin with 481 bans, Iowa with 140 42 and Texas with 141. The report was compiled by Penn America, a century old literary and free expression advocacy group. Penn America says books that discuss sex, abortion or rape are among the most censored. Other books targeted feature narratives about race, racism and LGBTQ themes. We'll be right back. My husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower, so he went right to work on it. I think he's procrastinating. For a new bathtub or shower, just call 1-800-HANSONS. Installed in as little as one day with optional safety features and a no-leak guarantee. Get 50% off installation or no interest, no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. If you have heart failure, entrust your heart to Entresto. Entresto helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Aliskiran, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto for heart failure. Novartis may help you save on your prescription. Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. Look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotional results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Bello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to sonobello.com. We had such a great experience with Empire, we would recommend it to anyone. Real customers share their stories about Empire today. As a matter of fact, we already have. Customer service, and the personal touch was really where it's at. The quality, too, is important to us, and the quality of the flooring was great. I mean, um, we've had people come in our home and say, wow, this is really beautiful. Uh, where'd you have it done? Empire. <laughs> empire Today. Check this out. The newest fantasy game from DraftKings. Just pick between two and six players and choose if they're going to have more or less of a stack. They compete against others for cash prizes. It's that simple. Okay, let's try it. Do you want more Kevin Hart or less Kevin Hart now? No, nope. don't answer that. Download the Pick 6 app today and score up to $200 back in Pick 6 credits if you don't win your first pick set. The crown is yours. What?
Now that the system is really playing out, uh, we're starting to get a better picture as to what we can expect with these storms. This first line of storms, it doesn't look like we're going to is going is going to produce a lot of severe weather, possibly a, a warning or two. Unlikely we'll see a tornado warning out of this system, but it undoubtedly will still bring some heavy rain. Dew points have been have been increasing as the system passes, and this second line of storms is what we are a little bit more concerned about. We have several tornado warnings from this system right now all in Iowa and parts of Missouri. But if we look closely at the most uh, the tornado warning closest to our area, this is a radar indicator uh, tornado and the warning had just uh, been put out. So this is until 445 PM. This line of storms looks like it will enter Wisconsin kind of closer to around five to six, maybe closer to around 530 to 630. But this line of storms looks a bit more concerning than the first line. But the first line is still going to produce a lot of rainfall. And again, there could still be a severe thunderstorm warning with that line but again we're more focused on the, at least the severe weather threat with this second line we'll continue to provide updates as they come to us thank you very much jacob so i have asked eric to join susan and i on this broadcast because i want to share something with all of you in case you haven't heard yet I have resigned my position here from News 3 now. My last day is going to be a week from tomorrow. That is April the 24th. So why? It's just time. You just, you know when you know. Um, and I'm not leaving for another job. I am just gonna take a little bit of time to breathe and reconnect with myself before diving back into something. Um, also, I wanted to let you know, I am not leaving Madison, okay? This has become my home, my family's home, so you will most definitely see me around town attempting to do something good to make our community a better place, an even better place to live than we already have right now. So in the meantime, we do have some time left together in the broadcast atmosphere, and believe me, I am appreciating every single last minute here with all of you you and especially my dearest friends uh, who I so proudly share this space and time with which to me is an absolute luxury so I wanted you to hear it from me on the airwaves and uh, and I'm glad that you both are here with me for this so thank you you better talk first we tried to talk her out of it we really <laughs> tried why why now why is now the right time for you, you know it's just something it's just Things just happen. I'm a big believer in signs. You know that. And just signs were just there. I tried to avoid them. <laughs> and when you avoid them, something comes back and knocks your head a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So um, I re do really think that it's just it's time for me to see Charlotte 2.0. What's going to happen? You well, know? I'm and That's mad. exciting. <laughs> I'm mad. just mad. I don't like this. <laughs> we don't eat yeah. I have loved working with you. You know that and mm -hmm. how special you are to us. All of the people in the newsroom, yeah. you've affected so many lives. Not just in our newsroom. The young people look to you as a mentor. And this community really has benefited from your hard work with Geo's Garden. Yep. But as an anchor here, you've just been so great to work with the last eight years on the night side mm -hmm. after eight years on the morning side. No, ten years. <laughs> no, don't ten, knock ten off the those mornings. ten years. <laughs> ten. It seemed, probably seemed like 20 on the morning. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah but, you know how that yeah, feels. Yeah. But this, you will be so missed. I mean, you know this. You and I have talked mm -hmm. so much, and we have fought so hard to keep her here. But it is time. and. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to miss you, but you're going to be close. And, and I'm still We're, we're going to drag her to lunch and stuff like that. You but. will still know about what's going on in my life and with Gio and Benicio. Mm -hmm. I mean, Gio's graduating. From high school. From high that's school. Incredible. Can you believe that's that? Quite a that's you know? incredible. So yeah. I started here when he was one. And you guys were all here when Benicio. Mm -hmm. I mean, my gosh. <laughs> that's a whole other jungle of worms to talk about that child, <laughs> yeah. you know? So, no, but this has been absolutely wonderful. The station has been great, you know, and they're supporting me and that's that's all anybody wants right they just I'm want to be supported <laughs> you can be mad you can be mad but i'll still no it's hard we'll be, it's we'll very be hard close, but you are a huge loss we're yeah. not going to sugarcoat no, exactly. that exactly mm -hmm. and right. i know our viewers feel the same way yeah. you were yeah, it's a not difference easy. maker here and uh, well, we loved you. working with you thank you so, so well we got some time you're on vacation tomorrow i what? am so <laughs> So, so really, we have like seven hours left to work with you. <laughs> yes. I, I always take this time off around. This is yeah. like my spring break in mm -hmm. April. The third week is my spring break. Mm -hmm. So I am leaving tomorrow for a few days, and then I've got two more days next week. <laughs> so okay. just, that's just how it happened to be. So, But just wanted you guys to hear it all from me. So the horse's mouth is telling you. So, But thank you all. And we've, we've got a few more... We've got a few more broadcasts together. Two more. So, yeah, two <laughs> no, more well, days. Enjoy your trip. It's well-deserved. Mm -hmm. And so, you maybe know. Maybe we can... 
calm down. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you and me now. <laughs> no, seriously. You know, I always say, like, it's like the Hotel California. You can check out, but you can never. Yes, well, I'm yeah, going to tell them so. not to hire anybody in the tent. I'm yeah. leaving that seat open. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to keep know. trying to talk you into staying. <laughs> you, you know I won't stop. I, I know, I know. So, But I will be around. So please, if you see me, do not be afraid to say hi. Yes. I don't bite. Or tell her hard. to come back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to be right back with more news after this. April showers bring May flowers. But do your tired gutters risk basement flooding? To the rescue, Fry Construction. Our absolute gutter system is custom fabricated on site for a perfect seamless fit. It's engineered to outperform. Looking for a break in the clouds? How about a sunny 24% discount on our absolute gutter system? To get this deal, visit FryConstruction.com today to schedule a full roof replacement. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Service and savings. It's Woodman's. Hi, we're, we're the, the Woodman's. Woodman's. I'm Clint. I'm Phil, saving you big time money on popcorn. 10 ounce skinny pop or 16 ounce valley popcorn, both $4.69 each. I can run the hot, hot prices on popcorn. Skinny pop or valley popcorn, both $4.69. Save big time money on your favorite popcorn. Better, better products, products, better prices, better, better service, service because we're employees. employees. It's Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. During Chevy truck season, get 0.9% financing on all 2023 and 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or qualified lessees can get this Silverado for $4.99 a month. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Our meteorologists are tracking alert day conditions across southwestern Wisconsin. Let's take a look at the storm in Platteville right now. Here's a live look from our Platteville sky cam. Still a little sun mm -hmm. on the horizon there, but the skies are getting darker. The storms are approaching and the severe weather is slowly but surely pushing its way into our state. Here's meteorologist Jacob Montesano with a look at the forecast. Jacob. Yeah, and I can tell just based on that image that on the horizon, you can see the rain falling and it is pushing towards Platteville. Now, right now, there aren't any severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for our area. And this line of thunderstorms that continues just to kind of hug the Wisconsin border, it looks like it's finally pushing into Prairie du Chien and uh, into Grant County. It's, it is going to bring some pretty heavy rain, but we're not expecting less severe weather with this line. However, looking further southwest, this second line of storms is producing severe thunderstorm warnings and several tornado warnings right now. Looking at the tornado warning closest to Wisconsin, uh, this one is radar indicated, but also there is a severe thunderstorm warning accompanied with the tornado warning that's producing wind speeds around 60 miles per hour and hail possibly up to an inch in diameter. So if these storms stay intact, uh, this could possibly uh, produce a tornado warning for our area. Still a bit unclear if that's going to happen, but this first line is not looking like it's going to produce a lot of severe weather. We also are dealing with very gusty winds even beyond the storms. Wind gusts right now up to 40 to 45 miles per hour for portions of our area. It possibly is going to get even worse before it gets better. 
Once the storms clear out, though, the winds should calm down a little bit. So looking at future track, even if we don't see a lot of severe weather, we certainly are expected to see plenty of rainfall. We could definitely see some isolated locations of flooding, especially for those of you near the Rock River that have already had a few flood warnings. But because the rain is going to be very heavy and it could last for about an hour or two, we could see some localized flooding. So let's take another look at the system currently. Again, we are, it's just kind of hugging the Wisconsin-Iowa border right now. Not expected to produce a lot of severe weather, but we definitely could see a severe thunderstorm warning with this line of thunderstorms. But again, that second line is what we are a little bit more concerned about. We'll see if these storms stay intact because that line of storms that's just about pushing into Wisconsin, that line uh, did produce some tornado warnings earlier, but it has diminished right now, just producing some heavy rainfall. And again, we'll continue to provide updates on the storm uh, throughout the evening. The stock market held relatively steady today. The Dow Jones rose 63 points. The Nasdaq fell 19 and the S&P 500 fell 10 points. Coming up after the break, Consumer Reports returns. We'll have tips on how to clean up your yard now that winter is out the window. That's next when Live at 4 continues. <sighs> Want fresh air. <laughs> You need the experts. Right now at Felco, get free installation, plus no interest for six years. Call 866 for Felco. This or that, this or that. You can do this, when you Angie that. You can do this, when you Angie that. You can do this, because Angie's where it's at. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Get started today at Angie.com. of women are struggling with hair damage, just like I was. Dryness and frizz could be damaged hair that can't retain moisture. New Pantene Miracle Rescue Deep Conditioner with first of its kind melting Pro-V pearls. Locks in moisture to repair six months of damage in one wash without weigh down. Guaranteed or your money back. For resilient, healthy looking hair. If you know, you know it's Pantene. We went to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison last night. I don't really get how the jackpots work. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison actually has had multiple million dollar winners. There are linked progressive slot machines at the same casino where local players increase the jackpot amount. And a standalone progressive jackpot increases when a player plays on an individual machine that isn't linked to any other machine. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. More ways to win. Find your perfect jackpot. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Hey, Wisconsin neighbors, the best way to prepare for April showers is by upgrading your shower. Right now we're offering 50% off installation plus a free upgrade to our Jacuzzi Rainfall Shower Head. Change your outdated bathroom in as little as one day with the Jacuzzi Bath Remodel System. We bring the showroom to you and give you half off installation too. And Tunderland makes your project affordable with no money down, no interest, and no payments until 2025. Call 1-800-TUNDERLAND or visit tunderland.com today. New at five, trillions of cicadas are gearing up for a noisy invasion this summer. A rare event happening once every 221 years. Find out where they'll be buzzing. The First One Weather Team will be tracking a line of thunderstorms, and some of those storms will be severe. At five, I'll have the latest updates on the chances of large hail, damaging winds, isolated tornadoes, and heavy rain. Ahead at six, an empty hearing room could mean that PFAS funding is stalled. We'll bring you the latest from the state capitol tonight at six. Welcome back. Most of us are really happy to say goodbye to colder weather, but welcoming spring also means saying hello to what winter left behind in our <laughs> yards and gardens. Consumer Reports experts are here to help you make the most out of the warmer days ahead with lawn and garden tips for spring. 
messy garden beds, dead plants, leftover fall leaves, sticks, and limbs. They're all here and need attention. Consumer Reports' Paul Hope's advice? Take spring cleanup step by step. One of the first things you want to do in spring is make sure that all of your equipment is ready for the year. So lawnmower, string trimmer, leaf blower, all of those might need a tune-up. You should clear the debris before you mow and leave, especially any leftover leaves from the fall. You want to clear them before grass starts growing in the spring. That's because if you have a dense bed of leaves anywhere on your lawn, it's actually going to block out the sunlight and keep the grass from growing properly. Compost them, or better yet, mulch the leaves with your mower or tractor. The churned up clippings will feed your lawn and reduce any needed fertilizer. When you finally get to the lawn, consider keeping this slogan in mind. No, mow, may. No mow may is a great way to let small flowering plants have a chance to grow and help out pollinators. Of course, it's not always an option to let your grass grow, especially in areas where ticks are a concern. There are less extreme alternatives, though. Raise your mower's deck to cut your grass higher and extend the time between mowings. You can also find lawn seed mixes that include bee-friendly flowers. If you don't need a lot of lawn space, set aside a portion of your yard to grow just wildflowers or plant a pollinator garden as well. Finally, take in all your hard work and don't forget to enjoy your outdoor space this spring and beyond. In Madison, Shane Hogan, News 3 Now. Thank you, Shane. And another pollinator friendly tip from Consumer Reports, avoid chemical fertilizers and herbicides. They can get absorbed into your soil or eventually enter the water table and threaten the survival of pollinators, not only on your property, but also throughout your community. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, the doctor is in. UW Health's Dr. Jeff Pothoff joins us to talk about the resurgence of a disease once thought eliminated in the United States. That's when Live at 4 returns. Back to Portage Furniture Store, your forever furniture store. Mr. Aaron Ayers, what does that mean? Welcome back, Emmy. Yes, when we talk about forever furniture, we talk about generation lasting heirloom quality custom furniture. Case in point, we live it every day. My wife and I, we have a chair in our home that my grandfather sold to my wife's grandparents. Generation lasting, third generation lasting furniture. Long, long before you and Jen had met. That's an incredible story. <laughs> we find love at Portage Furniture. He can promise that right there. <laughs> and still free delivery, amazing service from your crew. We talk about it all the time, the best in the business. Bring it in, set it up for you, move it left, move it right. They are the best. They're gonna take care of you. And it looks like the fourth generation, they're just swooping right in. They're making some decisions here, Aaron. They're trying to kick us out the door as quick as they can. They're, they're anxious and they're ready to go. Kenley, are you ready to work in the store someday? Yeah, I was born ready. That a girl, high five. We've all had those moments in businesses where you see the salesperson come at you and you're like, oh man, I haven't even had a second to look. Except that doesn't happen when you come to Portage Furniture. That's right. You know, really, it's a pressure-free environment. Really no pressure at all. Uh, we like our, you know, we like the customers to be able to get a chance to look around, mm -hmm. to, to really sit down on the furniture, to lay down on the mattresses, uh, to really, again, have the no pressure atmosphere here at Absolutely. the store. Absolutely. But they also know their stuff. So when you're ready, when you need them, when you have the questions for them, they're going to be here and, and they're ready to go. Yeah, that's right. You know, our staff and our salespeople are very well knowledge and they know they know the product and everything too. So any questions, they're, they're here for you. From, From the, the entire, entire Portage Furniture family, family, I'm Emmy Fink and, and you're buzzed into Madison. Madison. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. We're a really busy family of six and moving into a new house, and Empire made it really easy. They brought samples to our house, quality products, and insulation on our schedule. And we're really happy with everything. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today. Elevate your look with Wisconsin Vision. Affordable luxury in every frame. A necessity for some, but suitable for every lifestyle. Ask about our $99 prescription. 
prescription sunglasses. Wisconsin Vision. See more life. Here's a live picture of gray skies over the Capitol in Madison. 62 degrees right now. It's cloudy. We're expecting a little rain, but no severe weather so far in the viewing area. So that's something to be thankful for. Jacob is keeping an eye on it, and he'll update us in just a minute. We turn now to an alarming uptick in the number of measles cases. They're already nearing the total of last year and it's only April. UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff is with us for his weekly visit. Hi, Dr. Potoff. Hey guys, how are you? Th this is an interesting situation. This year alone, 46 measles cases in 17 states and eight alone this week reported in the city of Chicago. The CDC actually sent a team to Chicago to get a handle on, on what's going on here. What's the concern? Well, I think the concern is, is that we're seeing, you know, decreased adoption of the MMR vaccine, which is incredibly effective in preventing people from getting measles, about 97% uh, effective. Uh, so since the year 2000, we would sometimes see measles cases. They often came uh, on travelers who had traveled to an area of the world that measles is still common, uh, would come back infected, and maybe a couple people would get infected because they weren't vaccinated, they didn't have immunity, but these things would kind of put her out uh, before anything could really get going. Uh, the concern today is that we have a, a strong enough population of folks who are unvaccinated uh, that when a measles case comes back, we're seeing these outbreaks that are much larger, there's more susceptible people, uh, and it gets harder and harder for the CDC and public health agencies to contain measles uh, from spreading either farther than kind of the initial location that that person came back to. So what is it that people can do to try to, if, there's, if it's possible, to kind of reverse this trend that we're starting to see? Yeah, so the tricky things with measles is it's extremely contagious. So if you filled, you know, a room of 100 people and one of those people had measles, 90 additional people would come down with measles. Uh, now, the trick is, is that we have a vaccine that's very effective. It's the MMR. You get it once, uh, you know, about your first year of life, around 12 to 15 months. You get a second dose uh, between uh, four and uh, six years old, about kindergarten. Uh, very effective, 97% lifetime protection against coming down with measles. That's all we need to do. But with it being so contagious, we need a really high percent of the population vaccinated, about 95% to prevent measles from continually passing on to finding that one person uh, who is not immune to it. If you didn't get the MMR vaccine as a child, can you get it as an adult? You know, I believe so. That's not a common question that I get, but I can't think of any reason why we wouldn't be able to give an MMR vaccine to someone who's not a child and get them caught up on that series. So certainly call your doctor, but pretty sure that would be an option for anyone. Dr. Potoff, I know that there are parents out there uh, who are concerned about the MMR because of there have been stories over decades about it possibly causing autism. Um, I, I, I have explored this many, many times looking into myself with because of Geo. Is it possible to separate the MMR to have just the measles vaccine or the mumps or the rubella? Is that possible? So at this point, no, no, there isn't. Um, I think the reassuring thing is when we look at the data, um, it looks to be that there's correlation. When you get a vaccine, uh, especially the MMR, it's around the same time we typically start to diagnose autism, but there have been you know, numerous studies looking to see if there a causal link there. Does the vaccine actually cause autism? Uh, the answer is definitively no. Uh, MMR does not cause autism. Are you aware of any measles cases in the Madison area? Not officially diagnosed in the Madison area. It's possible that I'm just not uh, aware of them, uh, but certainly it's something we, we are on the lookout for. Uh, you know, we are susceptible for measles cases here in the Dane County region, just like anywhere else in the country. All right, Dr. Potoff, thank you so much for your time this week. We really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, now let's head over to Jacob for another check on the weather. Yeah, these storms are just not really producing severe risks across our area, other than the fact that we're going to see some pretty heavy rain that could create some flooding concerns. But right now, still not seeing any severe thunderstorm warnings, and that line is now really pushed into Wisconsin. Those of you in Platteville expect to see some showers uh, pretty quickly. Those of you in Prairie du Chien likely seeing some heavy rain right now. And really all across Crawford and Grand County, we are uh, seeing some heavy rain right now. To the southwest, we are still seeing some strong storms, but the northern end of that system, which will track into our area, it's kind of diminishing as well. But there is a very strong storm further south. Actually, a tornado is confirmed with this cell, but unlikely that's going to impact our area. So looking closer at the near severe thunderstorm morning, it's producing the lower threshold of severe weather, 60 mile per hour winds, hail an inch in diameter. 
Again, the line of storms up north that's impacting Wisconsin could produce a severe thunderstorm warning, but at this point we aren't expecting it to. Now looking at the hazards, we may have to lower these just a little bit and maybe actually increase the flooding one uh, because it looks like we're definitely going to see the heavy rain, but the wind, hail, and tornado threat not going to be as great. Now the wind threat will actually be uh, considerable considering just because we have the uh, gusts in general, not necessarily from the thunderstorms, so it's still windy nonetheless, but the hail and tornado threat do look to be a little bit less than we initially thought, but we're still going to see plenty of rainfall and timing this out. It will likely enter Dane County around 5, 530 and impact uh, portions of Dane County throughout the uh, few hours afterwards. Again, still seeing some light rain right now across from the Wisconsin, but the bulk of the precipitation is from that line of storms just entering Wisconsin. A lot of these showers and storms make continue until around 7 to 8. For those of you those of you out west, it will end a bit earlier. And for those of you north and east, it will continue a bit longer. But as we get to closer to 9, it looks like a lot of that rain will have pushed off to the east and also pushed off to the north. Definitely looking dry as we get closer to 10 p.m. to midnight. We could see some showers tomorrow morning, but certainly not as much as we're going to see this evening. So looking at the total precipitation we're expecting, again, some parts of our area could see up to two inches of rainfall. And the rain's only going to last for, uh, at least the heavy rain will only last for about an hour or two, which would, which could create some isolated flooding locations, especially for those of you, like I mentioned, near the Rock River that already experienced uh, the severe thunderstorm, or not severe thunderstorm, flood warning from uh, the system earlier this month. Now looking at the wind advisory, it's in effect for Juneau and Adams County and areas off to the north, still seeing those wind us up to around 45, maybe even 50 miles per hour for a few locations, but the winds will improve once the storm clear the storms clear out, but we may continue to see some breezy conditions as we head towards the morning. Now looking at the forecast beyond the uh, storms this evening, we're going to see some showers Wednesday, possibly Thursday as well. Temperatures in general will be a bit cooler. Highs will be in the middle to lower 50s, but we are going to be dry over the weekend and there's not really a lot of 70s in the forecast, so we may uh, go a few days, maybe even a few weeks before we get back to 70, but we obviously will get there eventually. We do have another chance of showers for the middle and um, towards the beginning and middle of next week. But beyond that, we're not expecting to see too much precipitation, not as much as we will see this evening. Once again, we'll continue to update uh, any severe thunderstorm warnings that do pop. But at this point, not expecting a ton of severe weather, but we're still going to see that heavy rain. We'll be right back. Join Stoughton Health's Dr. Aaron Schwab on April 18th to learn about simple outpatient treatments that can alleviate varicose or spider veins. To register for the free educational talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. Fjords has been crafting beautifully designed functional furniture since 1941. Every aspect of Fjords furniture has been carefully engineered to create a higher level of relaxation. Visit the Century House today and view our extensive lineup. Experience the unmatched relaxation you can only achieve in Fjords Furniture. Relaxation made beautiful. Visit the Century House at 3420 University Avenue in Madison or online at centuryhouseinc.com. Update your floors with Empire Today's $50 room sale. Buy one room, get floors for all other rooms for just $50 each. There's no limit. 800-588-2300 Empire. Today. Get an 11% rebate on everything now at Menards. Come check out our new selection of ceiling fans. Find your style and add elegance to any room with Patriot Lighting. Get the Eastly ceiling fan for $79.99 after rebate. Ceiling fans help you save on energy costs year-round while making your space cool and more comfortable. Right now, this Hunter low-profile ceiling fan is $79.99 after 11% rebate at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Join Stoughton Health's Dr. Aaron Schwab on April 18th to learn about simple outpatient treatments that can alleviate varicose or spider veins. To register for the free educational talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. At 5, I'll be tracking a line of thunderstorms, and some of those could be severe. And I'll tell you when you can expect these storms in your town. And why trillions of cicadas are gearing up for a noisy invasion this summer. That story next at 5. Start your evening with News 3 Now at 6, moving forward, uncovering the stories and getting to the heart of events and issues that matter here. And when bad weather is on the way, we warn you first. News 3 Now at 6, moving forward, weeknights.
take a look at this. NASA is confirming that a piece of debris that crashed through a Florida home last month came off the International Space Station. The space agency says the metal object was part of a space station cargo pallet jettisoned on March 11th, 2021. Almost exactly three years later, on March 8th of this year, NASA expected it to fully burn up as it entered the Earth's atmosphere, but the small piece survived and tore through this Naples, Florida home. Shortly after it hit, the homeowner Alejandro Otero described what it was like. I was uh, completely uh, in disbelief. Uh, what are the chances to something of something landing on my house uh, with, with such force to cause so much damage and and, you know, totally, you know, I'm super grateful that nobody got hurt. Yikes, they are very lucky. The cylinder is four inches tall. It weighs one and a half pounds. It was used to mount batteries on the cargo pallet. NASA says the space station will investigate the jettison to determine how the debris survived and make any changes if needed. Shakira is going on a world tour, her first since 2018, and she's going to kick things off November 2nd in Palm Desert, California, with stops across the U.S. and Canada, wrapping up in Detroit on December 15th. The tour will feature music from her latest album, Las Mujeres Ya No Lloran, that's released in March. The album, which translates to Women No Longer Cry, is her 12th studio album. Shakira says it's a mix of pop, reggaeton, regional, and rock, and describes her journey from vulnerability to resistance. Tickets for the tour go on sale April 17th. All right, over to Jacob now for a severe weather update. Yeah, there is a severe thunderstorm warning, not for our area, but just to the south of it. Uh, there's a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for portions of Iowa and Illinois. This includes Dubuque, uh, seeing 60 mile per hour wind gusts with this thunderstorm. A tornado is also possible. Hail, not as much of a threat. So looking at the track of this, for those of you in Grant County and Lafayette County, expect to see possibly a severe thunderstorm move through your area. But at this point, we aren't expecting any tornado warnings, at least in the near future. Do want to point out, though, that further south, this system, uh, just the southwest of Davenport, uh, there are videos of a fairly large tornado with this system, unlikely to track into our area. But again, for this one specifically closer to our area, just be prepared, especially for those of you in Grant and Lafayette County. And then I'll uh, hand it over to Alex in just a few minutes.